Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. Do you have a pet dog, cat, gerbil? And if you do, let me ask you this. How much do you really know about Fido or Fluffy? I mean, there are certain animal behaviors we all kind of expect, like koalas will sleep all day, cats always go crazy over laser pointers, and Fido will lick his own butt, drink out of the toilet, and then go up to you and give you a big sloppy wet kiss. But there are times when animals don't act the way we expect them to. Not only that, some some animal behaviors are just downright strange and we have no idea why they happen. Number one, herbivores eating meat. We all know that carnivores eat meat, herbivores eat salad, and omnivores eat salads with some meat on top. And it always seems pretty clear that is the way it is. I mean, you're not gonna worry too much when you let your pet chicken go hang out with a cow, but maybe you should, because if you let your pet chicken go hang out with a cow, your pet chicken might die. According to a 2007 Reuters report, in a remote village in West Bengal, India, dozens of chickens went missing and naturally everyone suspected the neighborhood dogs. But the mystery was finally solved when the owner of the chickens caught his cow wandering over to the chicken coop at night and eating the chickens. And it's not like the chickens were all diced up and blended with some grass. Nope, literally, the cow just wandered over and ate the chickens live to the tune of around 50 chickens in a month. Veterinarians think the cows ate the chicken because it lacked some sort of vital minerals, but locals believe that the cow was actually reincarnated from a tiger. This is not an isolated incident. There are also reports of deers eating birds, hippos eating crocodiles, and even in 1945 incident where an elephant named Chong at the Zurich Zoo actually ate an entire person, even gobbling up her clothes, shoes, and purse. So far, we don't know for sure why animals we classify as herbivores will occasionally kill and dine on meat. Like I mentioned, some researchers think it's because the animals are looking to consume some minerals as body needs, but other researchers think they do it because, well, they can, which kind of makes them opportunistic killer meat eaters, which is like the worst kind. I mean, if you're hanging around a lion, you're careful because you know the lion's gonna want to eat you because that's what lions do. But if you're hanging around an elephant, you kind of let your guard down because it's Dumbo. It's friends with a mouse. It plays with feathers. It can't possibly hurt you, but that elephant could literally walk up and eat you whole. Number two, predict disasters. We all know that that animal senses are often much better than humans, and they can predict certain weather phenomena. For example, right before a rainstorm, birds will fly low and get very quiet. Cows will start lying down, and ants will build their nests up very high on the sides. But can animals predict more serious natural calamities such as earthquakes or tsunamis? Although researchers are hesitant to confirm it, there are a lot of evidence that points to the fact that animals do sense major upcoming natural disasters, and sometimes they know long before we even have a clue. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the earliest documented proof of this ability was in 373 BC, where before an earthquake struck Greece, animals such as rats, weasels, and snakes left their nests and headed for higher grounds days before the earthquake occurred. Also, according to National Geographic, hours before the tragic tsunami hit the Sri Lanka and India coastline, elephants were trumpeting and ran for higher ground. Dogs were acting strange and refused to go outside. Flamingos abandoned their low breeding grounds, and even the zoo animals went back into their shelters and would not come out. And even though the tsunami slammed into a wildlife reserve, which is home to over 130 species of animals, the only two victims seems to be two water buffaloes who are probably just too arrogant to run away. Number three, moth to a flame. We've all heard the old saying like a moth to a flame and we know that moths have some sort of suicidal tendency to just dive into flames or basically any artificial light. What we don't know is why. Here are some guesses though. Some entomologists believe that because moths and other insects evolved from a time when no artificial light existed, so when they see a candle or bug zapper, it kind of throws off their internal navigation system and they become somehow attracted to it. But the problem with this theory is that although artificial lights may be new, fires are not. So wouldn't moths be karma causing themselves into extinction over the last few hundred thousand years? Another theory is that the infrared lights from candles contain wavelengths that match that of female moths' pheromones. So basically the male moths are killing themselves because 
because they're trying to mate with the candle flame. But this theory also doesn't really work out because UV rays attract moths and other insects much more than infrared rays, and UV rays does not contain these same wavelengths. So basically, we have no idea why this happens. Number four, animal suicides. Suicides are not just a human behavior, it happens to all sorts of animals. According to the London News, one of the earliest documented cases of animal suicide was back in 1845, when a seemingly depressed, prized dog threw himself into a river and didn't even attempt to swim. The dog was rescued and tied up, but when he was released, he jumped into the water again. This whole process occurred many times until finally the dog achieved his goal. Animal suicides are not rare. In fact, it happens a lot and it often occurs in groups. According to USA Today, in 2005 in Istanbul, Turkey, shepherds watched helplessly as a sheep jumped off a cliff, followed by another and another until around 1,500 sheep jumped off the same cliff. The only reason just 450 sheep died was because the dead sheep pile got so high it cushioned the fall of the other suicidal sheep. And you probably hear in the news all the time about beached whales and dolphins. For example, in 2008, 26 dolphins beached themselves in the waters off Cornwall, England. And researchers deemed this a mass suicide because not only did the dolphins beach themselves, they all swallowed a massive amount of mud and debris which filled up their stomachs and lungs. Number five, cow eating habits. Did you know that cows eat really, really bizarrely? It's not that they eat with like their nose or something, but when cows eat, and this is every single cow on the planet, when they eat, they only eat while facing either north or south, and we have no clue why they're doing this. So far, the best theory is that the cows have a magnetic sense and can tell which way is north, and somehow they just feel like aligning themselves while they eat, either facing north or south. You know, maybe I've read one too many Far Side comics, but I can just picture this as some massive inside joke that cows are playing on us. Like, hey guys, it's meal time, let's mess with the humans by only facing north or south while we eat. I'll teach them for stealing our milk and turning us into steaks. Let me know if you have any thoughts on these bizarre animal behaviors. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you later.